Hello, I'm Steve Gooding. In my role as chairman of the Transport Technology Forum, I get to hear about a lot of interesting developments and I get to read about a lot of interesting developments. But this is about seeing them in action. This is technology that's not from tomorrow's world. This is technology that's here and now and very, very near market. So when you're watching the video that follows, I hope you'll be thinking how this technology could help you, whether you're trying to achieve more efficient, safer, cleaner transport. All of these things are on the cards. And as a driver, you can see them in my car. I don't want to have any number of different devices stuck on the windscreen or across the dashboard. I want an integrated service. So if you watch this video, you're going to see evidence of that too. I hope this will be a genuinely interesting and thought-provoking session for you. So with no further ado from me, let's roll the camera. The Transport Technology Forum's Spatula Working Group demonstrations involved a range of connected vehicle solutions, starting with how temporary and fixed traffic signs can be relayed into vehicles without any human intervention. We set up a temporary variable message sign and automatically replicated that wording on both the vehicle's standard head unit and a mobile phone using an app with standard cellular communications. Traffic advisory from test team to end of roadworks 20 miles 24 minutes. And it's not just VMS. In this demonstration, information from fixed road signs was automatically displayed in vehicle two. Traffic advisory from test team roadworks. So they actually know if they've been knocked down and things, don't they? Yes, that's right, yeah. We also set up a temporary traffic signal and demonstrated how it can be displayed in real time within the vehicle, adding how long until the lights change and advice on the speed to drive at to arrive on green, so reducing emissions. It's what's known as green light optimal speed advice or GLOSA. E-Call is an automated emergency alert system which sends messages for help when a vehicle is involved in a collision. We simulated a crashed vehicle and showed how drivers and emergency services could, within seconds, receive detailed important information about the vehicle, including its location, vehicle make and model. Here on the left-hand side, a Toyota Corolla. Traffic advisory from test team caution. E-Call activated ahead. Slow down. Toyota Corolla hatchback. A further service we showed was warning of an emergency vehicle approaching when you're driving. Here we sent in-vehicle warnings of a fire engine approaching, which improves driver response rates. Warning, emergency vehicle approaching. Warning, emergency vehicle approaching. Warning, emergency vehicle approaching. Here's another emergency vehicle warning system, an app-based technology which warns road users even if they can't see blue lights or hear a siren. In this example, the role of the emergency vehicle is being played by a grey people carrier. We also demonstrated automated warnings to drivers of the presence of vulnerable road users, in this case a cyclist. There was also a simulation of how the same technology can capture a wide range of data from large volumes of vehicles, helping improve traffic management and safety. We even showed technology that alerts drivers on narrow roads of another vehicle coming towards them. This includes warnings to stop at a safe place. In this footage you can see what the drivers of two vehicles approaching each other would see, so one stops and waits for the other to pass, reducing the need to reverse. Variable speed limits are common on our motorways, but in-car systems up till now have struggled to keep up with them changing dynamically. Here, variable speed limits are simulated in-car, and there's even a warning when the vehicle is going too fast. As you can see, the variable speed limit changes as a new section of road is entered without the need for road signs. 
These demonstrations prove that connected vehicle services aren't far in the distance, but some solutions are here and now. Some, like Glosser and eCall, are starting to be available already. This day showed that connected vehicles, as opposed to automated ones, are a quick route to safer, greener, more efficient roads for all users.